on the lower slopes of Ben Nevis, coming from North Face parking lot. Big trees, beautiful trail. It's like a fairy tale. Coming up this trail, I expect to see Hansel and Gretel or Red Riding Hood. Just uh, big trees, lots of moss. Gorgeous out. Temperatures, maybe mid 50s. Absolutely beautiful for hiking coming out of the trees. And first look at the bend. Got some clouds today. Might be foggy up there, but uh, the sky looks really clear otherwise. So he was hoping uh, the sun melts them off where the wind blows them. Now above the fire roads and nicer trails into single track and the bend. Starting to see some snow up there on the top slopes. Since I'm coming from the north and west, might see a little bit of that on the climb today. Hopefully not on the ridge walk. About a half an hour up the trail and the bend's gone from wee to maybe middling. Starting to see some amazing cliffs on the side, which must be just spectacular for technical rock climbers. I was enjoying the view so much, I wasn't tracking my location. And I take a shortcut now through a little bit of boggy ground, heather, grass, rocks to get back on track. Whoops. All right, back on the trail. Looks like it's gonna head me a little bit north of the bend over there to try to approach and avoid those cliffs. It's uh, rocky. Boggy, lots of heather. Really classic Scottish hiking trail. It's kind of like someone left a sprinkler on in the house all night in the yard. And you wake up in the morning and your yard is just a big puddle. But this is going up the side of a mountain. Very unique to uh, Scotland, Wales. This kind of bog on a hillside. Wet feet, people ask, why don't you wear waterproof shoes? Yeah, waterproof shoes are great if like you're in dewy grass, but the second you step over the limit of your shoe by your ankle, those waterproof shoes turn into cups. Water doesn't drain and your feet get really quite upset. So I much prefer shoes that drain well and just acknowledge my feet are gonna get wet. I wear wool socks and they dry out once I'm out of the water in short time. In 40. First little break for some water. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> the sun's out. It's only in the mid 50s, but the sun is intense. Uh, but look at this. No people. Nobody. And very few clouds on top of Ben Nevis. It's pretty rare to get that mountain with uh, no clouds. So fingers crossed, maybe I'll get an opportunity at least a short glimpse uh, of the summit as I'm climbing, maybe even when I get there. All right, ground is starting to get dry. Just a little muddy, out growing, out climbing the bog. And look, I can see Ben Nevis. Somewhere up there is the peak. Not really quite sure. One hour in, there's the Ben Nevis range. And I started from down there. Good progress, but uh, the first part's always the easiest. People think, oh, I can just extrapolate this and that'll be the time I get to the summit. No, it's gonna take a lot longer. As I get higher, it's steep and I'm gonna get onto the ridges where it's much more technical and I'll have to do some rock scrambling and route mine. Great spot to refill my water bottle. Making good progress. This little Hershey shaped valley and connecting the mountain I'm on to the Ben Nevis mountain is a ridge walk. And I can just see there in the clouds. Definitely higher up now. Got a couple clouds blowing in. Hopefully they're just visiting briefly. 
it can get pretty foggy up here. It's fairly notorious for whiteout conditions. But I think the cloud's still so clear outside of around the mountain that I don't have to worry. The trail is very nice, kind of what you'd expect to see like in Colorado on a 14er. Good red gravel and dirt and some chunkier talus. Made it up to the ridge line. Found the snow, north side as expected. Time, hour and 36 minutes or so. I'm going pretty fast, cause I got a ride here. And I told him to pick me up in five hours. Well, my Scottish walking guidebook says this route takes the average person 11. So I figure I might need to move a wee bit fast to get down in less than half that. We'll see. In the first of three peaks today. This is, I think pronounced a Munro. It's a specific name for a specific height kind of peak. Here we are at the top. And wow, great views looking north. Uh, well, for me, you can't see with that fog. And then the ridge walking begins. Enjoying a nice rocky ridge walk. And I think that is the peak Ben Nevis. And if I can just get over a little bit, you can see where I'm going. Wait for it. Gotta climb a little higher. There's the next Monroe or peak. And then down, down, down the side of that to the saddle down there to cross over. Awesome fun. Look at this stuff. Yeah, my kind of day. All right, catching up to some climbers that started earlier. And the second uh, Monroe. And should get a good look from here you, for the ridge walk. Hiya. Yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, it. So, yeah, that's what gorgeous. Some folks down there on it already. <laughs> This is really quite fun. Just past some people that are kind of on the side taking the trail, but the bridge walk is where it's at. It's a little exposure, but nothing too crazy. And uh, it's only a few narrow parts. Mostly it's pretty wide. Definitely not a good place for poles. Just uh, get your balance. Move quick and keep moving. That's where I just came from. Swing around where I started the hike, the bend, and what I have left. Maybe, I don't know, one third of the way on the ridge. Back again now, uh, just about right in the middle of this beautiful valley. Not too much of the ridge to go. And then I'm not quite sure what the route's like to the top. This is looking off to the east. Beautiful. Lots and lots of ridge walk. Top. Where I came from. And yeah, it's getting rockier. A little steeper. And at the end of the ridge walking, that was awesome. Uh, wow. Uh, if you're going to climb this mountain and you've got good balance uh, and you're not too worried about heights, go this way. Now climbing up towards Ben Nevis. Way up there. And you can see over there. Those two bumps are the two mountains I climbed on the way over. And that is all the ridge walking, quite a bit. So much fun. All right, making my way up Ben Nevis now. The actual peak is up there. This is some prime talus scrambling. And so lucky with the views today. Amazing. Right, just a lovely view here from the side of Ben Nevis looking down at the ridge walk. Man, yeah, that was fun. Well, surprised to see him at the top already. Uh, not even three hours. Uh, well, 5,000 feet, under three hours, that's a good rate. Especially with some technical walking and scrambling. Woo, let's go check out the summit. All right, heading off the summit. Uh, got about two hours to get down to my cab driver. 
and it's beautiful up here. Look at that. Look at the glaciated conditions. They get all the snow up here in the winter. All those dark days, really high northern climate. Lots more people. Pretty amazing. Yeah, when you climb this mountain, don't go this way. This is the tourist way. I'm just gonna go down because it's so fast. Lots and lots of people. All right, now heading down the mule trail where most of the public climbs. A uh, much definitely an easier trail here, no ridge walking, and uh, just a lot more people. So I enjoyed only seeing about 10 people coming up on the other side of the mountain. This way, there are hundreds. But if you're not feeling too safe and you want to go for something easy, by all means, this is a safer way to get still heading down the tourist trail on the side of the mountain. You can see all the switchbacks, fairly easy grade. But the it's not great. It's a mix of scree and some talus. It's quite slippery going down, but much better than walking down that huge talus field uh, and reclimbing those Munros and doing the ridge walk on my laser tires. So this is the preferred way to descend for today. Now here's where I turn off the main trail. That's that back there behind me. There's a hairpin bend where most people head down to the Glen Nevis Visitor Center, but I'm heading to the west. So I've got to get back to the North Face trailhead where I started. So I got to put in a couple extra miles, some bushwhacking, a creek crossing, uh, and eventually hook up with the trails that I was on earlier today. So, so beautiful out. And what's a hike in Scotland without a beautiful lake and sheep? Ma and her baby. Boggy. Uh, maybe about 20 30 minutes back to the trailhead. Walking through the squishy, soddy heather. It makes for great descending. It's nice and soft when you step. Whoa, almost fell. <laughs> Walking through the peat bog ish land. obstacle for today is the creek crossing. No idea what it's going to look like, but I'm guessing I'm going to get my feet wet. That sounds big. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. almost back to the car cannot believe the good weather i had today again ben nevis is just known for rapidly changing really bad weather conditions and uh today has been superb i think pulled i pulled my sun hoodie out for about 20 minutes when i had a dark cloud come over and the wind picked up doing the ridge walk and uh that was it otherwise uh unzipped uh, my convertible pants to shorts short sleeve shirt and uh, been loving it.